Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth, and for those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business, selling primarily women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. And in today's video, I'm really excited. I love these type of videos. We are discussing 12 styles that are selling really fast for me in 2022. I did this video last year in 2021 and I y'all really seemed to like it. And when I filmed that one, I was outside. I was actually in Austin and I was just watching it and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go outside. It's such a nice spring day here in Portland. And yeah, we're going to discuss what is selling super quickly for me. So I basically chose the items on this list by going through everything that I had sold in 2022 and sorting by days till sold. So I only looked at items that had sold in 20 days or less. And I focused primarily on items that I had thrifted, which really wasn't that hard because what I've found is that on average, items that I get to hand select, check comps on, and pick up at the thrift store or at the bins tend to have a much faster sell through rate than other sourcing methods that I do, such as liquidation. So if you're familiar with this channel, you know that I do a lot of thrift with me's at Goodwill, at the bins. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe here. We put out new content every Monday and Thursdays. And if you are excited for this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Before we jump in, there's one thing I do want to know, and that is that everything on this list is obviously very much subject to selection bias, meaning that these styles and brands are items that I come across and pick up at the thrift store, at the bins. So it's certainly not an exhaustive list of all the items that are selling quickly right now. They're just ones that I actually have gravitated towards, picked up and checked comps on, and then had a lot of success with. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into these 12 items that are selling really fast for me in 2022. Okay, so last time on my list I talked about Madewell jeans. This time I'm narrowing it down a lot because I do sell a lot of Madewell jeans. And I found that one style in particular, this really actually surprised me, sells really quickly. And that is the Madewell Road Tripper jean. So I have five examples that have sold in 20 days or less and all of them are on Poshmark. So the first is this Madewell Road Tripper jean in Jansen Wash, size 25. I had it listed for 50 and it sold for $32, which gave me a profit of $16.11 and it sold after only one day. So very happy with that. Uh, next was a Madewell Road Tripper jean in Orson Wash Blue. I sold this really recently. Uh, I listed it for $45 and it sold for 20% off for $36 with discounted shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $14.09 and it sold after only five days. Next, another Madewell Road Tripper jean. This one was in Orson Wash and it's a size 29. And I had it again listed for 45, sold for 36. And I made $17.31 after only 14 days. So the last one was a Madewell Mid-Rise Road Tripper skinny jeans in a size 30. And I had it listed for $50. And my Posher VA sends out 20% offers to all likers. And it's automatic, I don't have to do anything, which is great. It makes me so many sales. And if you wanna try out Posher VA, uh, you can use code MOGIBETH and you'll get 20% off your first subscription. Um, and you'll get two weeks free. So it's worth giving it a shot. So it was listed for 50 and Posture VA sent out a 20% off offer for $40, which the buyer accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $23.78. So I honestly thought like the perfect vintage style or you know some of the other styles that I come across and do better, but it seems like the road tripper sells really, really quickly. Of course, it's not selling for a ton of money, but if it's selling that fast, I don't care. I'll take it, I'll pick it up any day. Okay, the next one on the list is another one that doesn't sell for a ton of money. And I wasn't really looking at that when selecting what styles to include on here. I'm just looking at items that are selling fast. Because especially since I am sourcing at the bins, sell through rate is really important to me as well. So this is kind of a more umbrella, but it's Urban Outfitters recent styles. The reason I'm not able to hone in any further is just because I don't have too much experience selling Urban Outfitters, but I've been so surprised by how quickly Urban Outfitters has been selling, and I almost always pick it up at the bins. So I wanted to share my experience in case y'all became curious and wanted to try it out yourself. Again, I don't think I would recommend paying up for Urban Outfitters. Sometimes you might actually want to pay thrift store prices for, but if you source at the bins and you don't ever pick up Urban Outfitters, 
here are some proof of concept <laughs> I'm going to share with you. Okay, so the first one is this Urban Outfitters Tyson Short Sleeve Corduroy Romper. I think I've talked about this on my channel. I had it listed for 65 and I sold it in a bundle. So um, when I applied the percentage off of the bundle to 65, I sold it for 49.52 on Poshmark, which left me with a $37.83 gross profit which was great and it sold the same day so that's a really really good sale by urban outfitters that i was really really happy with and the next was an urban outfitters moonlit garden floral tapestry uh, this is something that a lot of people just passed over because it was with all the bedding but I picked it up, I wanted to try it out. I had it listed for 25 and I sold it for 17, which gave me a gross profit of $11.25, but it only sold after one day. So I was really surprised and happy with that. Uh, next was Urban Outfitters BDG Bubble Corduroy Pants. I was thinking about taking these to Crossroads, which is what I've done with all my Urban Outfitters items in the past, but I decided, hey, let's just try it out. I found it at the bins, it's worth experimenting with. So I listed them for 40 and I sold them again, 20% off offer through Posher VA for $32, which gave me a gross profit of $22.91 and they sold after only three days. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm just like, I guess I've been sleeping on Urban Outfitters. Let me know in the comments down below, do y'all sell Urban Outfitters and does it sell quickly for you? Okay, so I actually have two more Urban Outfitters sales that I wanted to share with y'all that have sold within 20 days or less. So another one was the Urban Outfitters Hazel Oversized Twist Front Tee. This was just a really lightweight item that I picked up at the bins and uh, I had it listed for 20 and it sold for 14 plus 3.99 shipping on eBay, uh, which gave me a profit of $8.47, nothing, you know, massive but it sold after 16 days so i don't know if i picked that one up again but even t-shirts my urban outfitters you know it had a cute detail but even t-shirts are selling really fast and then the last one was another ebay sale um this was urban outfitters kimchi blue gauzy smocked midi dress really really cute and i listed that for 40 and i received an offer for 28 plus 5.99 shipping on ebay which i accepted and so I had a gross profit of $22 and it sold after only 18 days. Okay, it's raining, so uh, one second. Okay, so I'm over here now because it's raining a little bit and I have a little awning. So let's get on to item number three. So this is a style that if you watch a lot of Thrift With Me's, you've heard me talk about time and time again, and that is Beta brand pants. Specifically their dress pant yoga pants, but also their jean type yoga pants. So. I have five examples I wanted to share with you. The first is a Poshmark sale. It was a beta brand dress pant yoga pants in the size medium long. And I had it listed for 40, sold with a 20% off offer for 32. And I had a gross profit of $20.11 and it sold this same day. So very, very excited about that. Next was actually a tradesy sale. Uh, this was a beta brand dress pant yoga pant that was in a tonal stripe so it was kind of like a pinstripe i had those listed for 40 they sold full price on tradesy for 40 plus 7.99 shipping so i profited 20 dollars and 66 cents from those and those sold after only three days next is an ebay sale so beta brand pants are selling well everywhere which is awesome these were the denim pants that i was talking about in a size small I had them listed for 30 and they sold for 20 plus 7.99 shipping when I received an offer after only four days. I only profited $7.75, but that's fine. It sold super quickly. Next was a Poshmark sale, another dress pant yoga pants in a black size extra large. And I had these listed for 45. They sold again for a 20% off offer for 36 and I profited $17.09 and it sold after only five days. And then the last one is another Poshmark sale, same style, dress pant and yoga pants in a medium petite. And I had them listed for 45, I received an offer for 35, which gave me a profit of $18.29 and they sold after only 10 days. So definitely recommend picking up Beta Brand pants. Of course, they tend to sell in the 30 to $40 range, but they sell really, really quickly. So if you can get them for the right price, I would say definitely pick them up. Okay, the next again is not necessarily a style, it's just a brand. And this is just a brand that I keep being shocked how quickly it sells. I don't know why I'm shocked. It's a reseller bolo brand, like maybe 
top 10 for everyone and that is Patagonia it just it just seems like the demand for Patagonia isn't going anywhere and so I just want to make a note of that here in 2022 because it could be that in the future it drops off and that's the thing about reselling is you constantly have to be learning and updating your knowledge on brands that are selling quickly now because what's selling quickly now is not necessarily what sold quickly last year or the year before or the year before but when it comes to Patagonia it doesn't seem like things tend to be changing so I don't find a ton of Patagonia but when I do it sells quickly so the first is this Patagonia men's baggy shorts size extra small that I got at the bins and they sold on Poshmark I had them listed at 38 and received an offer for 30 which I accepted after only one day and I grossed $21.67 from that sale Next was a pair of Patagonia baggies pants. I actually paid up for these at the thrift store. They were a size small and I had them listed for 60 and my posture VA sent out 20% off offers. And so they sold for 20% off, 48. And I profited $26.91 after only four days of listing, which is awesome. Next is this Poshmark women's elastic drawstring waistband uh, mesh running shorts. These were actually in at my Mercari video and I had them listed for 30 they sold again for a 20% off offer that posture VA coming through thank you <laughs> and so I profited $12.71 and they sold after only 13 days okay the last one on here I actually it was in a thrift haul and I was saying I don't think I should have picked these up like they were really old style and I didn't check comps but they sold on eBay really quickly. So it was this pair of Patagonia Island wrap pants in 100% hemp. I had them listed for 45 and they sold for 38 plus 7.99 shipping, which gave me a profit of $23.14 after only 15 days. So Patagonia, I'm still waiting to see what doesn't do well by Patagonia. Let me know in the comments down below if you have had a poor experience with Patagonia recently. But so far, really almost everything that I list by Patagonia does well. Okay, next one on the list was actually something that I mentioned last year, but it's still going strong. So I want to mention it again. And that is Levi's recent style high rise rigid denim. And typically what I'm looking for is for the denim to be 100% cotton or 99% cotton. It's got to be a recent style. So two styles that do well are the wedgie fit, the rib cage fit, but it's not exclusive to that. And then the back leather patch, I'll put up a photo here of what it should look like, what I'm looking for anyway when I talk about this. And that indicates that it's a recent style and it's also kind of more of their rigid denim, their more expensive denim that's sold at places like Shop Op, Revolve, etc. And so I have three examples this time. The first is a Levi's ribcage straight jeans in a size 25. I had them listed for 50. And then sometimes I actually send 30% off offers on my entire closet using Posher VA if I want a kind of boost in sales. So I did that and when I did that, I sold them for 35 after just one day, which gave me a gross profit of $16.29. Next was a pair of Levi's wedgie fit jeans in a size 23. I got these at the bins and I had them listed for 58 and they sold for 46, which gave me a profit of $33 and 58 cents. And they sold after only one day of being listed as well. And then I wanted to throw in this pair of Levi's high loose shorts that I picked up and I did kind of pay up for them as far as shorts guy. I paid $6.99, but I was really surprised with how well they sold. I listed them for $65 and they sold full price for $65 on Poshmark, which gave me a profit of $43.29 after only 14 days. And so shorts, I have a hard time figuring out what sells well and what doesn't, but it seems that if you're looking for those recent styles of high rise rigid denim Levi's, then you're going to potentially have a really good sale. So I was really happy about that. Okay, number six on the list is Lululemon bottoms and dresses specifically. I really don't pick up or sell many tops by Lululemon, but I'm just constantly surprised with, again, similar to Patagonia, Lululemon just seems to be a brand that's still in really high demand and can sell really quickly if you get the right styles. So I have a ton of Lululemon examples of items that have sold 
in 20 days or less, which is saying a lot because I really don't find or sell Lululemon all that often. I will say that solid colors, especially black or neutral colors, tend to do better than crazy prints or really bright colors, but I mean, I think there are probably examples on this list that go against that. So let's just start and go over what I have sold within 20 days by Lululemon this year on Poshmark and eBay. So the first is this Lululemon on the fly pant, 28 inches, size 12. And I had them listed for 80 and I received an offer for 60 on Poshmark, which I accepted, which gave me a profit of $39.29 and they sold after only one day. Awesome, excellent, love that. Next is this Lululemon Pace Perfect 7-8 tight 28 5 inch legging, which I found at the bins, which was awesome. I had them listed for 70. They sold for a 20% off offer again for 56, which gave me a profit of $42.11, and they sold again after only one day. Love that sale. Okay, next is it eBay sale and these are men's so I actually found that men's Lululemon does really well as well and I have a bunch of men's that I'm about to go over so these were at ease drawstring shorts and a light gray I had them listed for 65 and I sold them on eBay for 45 plus 6.99 shipping which gave me a profit of $32.63 and they sold after only four days. Similarly, I had a pair of Lululemon Men's at Ease jogger pants that also sold super quickly. I had them listed for $100 and then I sold them in a bundle and when I applied the discount of the bundle to the hundred dollars it came out to seventy one dollars and forty three cents uh, which gave me a profit of forty two dollars and thirty nine cents and those also sold after only four days okay the next two are also men's lululemon's men run response and running shorts um, i had in black and a size large had them listed on poshmark for 40 and they sold for 30 with giving me a profit of sixteen dollars and fifty cents Again, four days. Similarly, another pair of Lululemon Men's Run Response Black Shorts in size medium. I had these listed for 40 and I accepted an offer of for 28, which gave me a profit of $14.90 and they sold again after only four days. Okay, so that's my men's stuff. I also sold Lululemon Lost in Pace Skort. And I always talk about this, but Lululemon skirts and skorts just sell really, really well. This I paid up for at Goodwill. I had it listed for 75 it sold full price on Poshmark for $75, which gave me a profit of $43.51, and it sold after only a week, seven days, so love selling those. And then, this was a great find from the bins. It's one of those Lululemon finds that you feel really good about because most people pass on it, but then you know just by feeling it that it's Lululemon because it just looked like a big t-shirt. But I felt the fabric, felt great, and it had that Lululemon symbol. And right when I found it, like I think five or 10 minutes later, they took the bin away. So almost ended up in the landfill. So anyways, this is a Lululemon All Yours tea dress. I received a bunch of offers on this actually, but I had it listed for 60 and then eventually accepted an offer for $50 on eBay with $5.99 shipping, which gave me a profit of $42.45 and it took two weeks to sell, so 14 days. And then lastly, Lululemon, another eBay sale, Wonder Under High Rise Tights in Heather Black. I picked these up at Goodwill. I had them listed for 68 and accepted an offer for 51 plus 4.99 shipping and so I had a profit of $25.15 and it sold after only 15 days. So, happy about that. Okay. Next is another just brand. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not being super specific about some of these, but this is a brand that I actually was starting to cool off on. I was thinking, oh, it's actually doesn't sell that well anymore. I'm not going to pick it up as often. Then I just started recently realizing no they're selling really quickly and styles that I would have previously passed on I'm picking up now and especially at the bins and I'm seeing that they sell well so the brand is mother which a lot of y'all are like why were you cooling off on mother jeans <laughs> one of the best premium denim jeans to sell but that was just the case for me so I have four mother jeans that I've listed this year and I've sold within 20 days so I wanted to share some examples with you and the thing is I think at least a couple of these on this list are not newer styles and they're not high rise so i would say you know mother in general you're not going to get as much for it you're not going to get you know around hundred dollars but if you get it for the right price i still pick up some older styles of mother so okay let me just show you what i'm talking about 
The first are, is a pair of Mother the Stunner skinny jeans in a size 24. I had them listed on Poshmark for $100. I think I got these through my online arbitrage, which I've done an online arbitrage haul recently, which Mother was definitely one of the brands that I showed. If you want to watch that, I'll link it up on the screen. But I had these listed for $100 and they sold to an offer for $70 which gave me a profit of $32.98 and they sold after only one day, which is great. Next was a Tracy sale and this was a piece that I picked up at the men's that I probably would have passed on, honestly, if I found it at Goodwill, but I learned my lesson in the good way. <laughs> I picked it up at the bins and learned. So these were Mother the No Zip Misfit Pant uh, in camo, size 30. And I think that's why I would have passed this because it's a printed denim or printed pant and typically, you know, I don't like to pick up printed pants and denim, but I had these listed for 80 and then ended up selling them for 63 plus $7.99 shipping to someone who messaged me wanting them for that price on Tradesy, which gave me a profit of $47.37 and it sold after only four days. So that was good. I was happy about that. <laughs> Next is another Poshmark sale. These were Mother the Looker Ankle Fray uh, Distressed denim and guilty as sin i had these listed for 68 dollars and they sold for 43 dollars leaving me with a profit of 17 but they only sold after eight days and i think um, i just paid up for those which is why my profit was lower but 17 dollars still great after eight days i'll take it and then the last one i found at goodwill um and it was in a thrift with me so maybe some of y'all remember it it was mother the drop out skinny jeans in corduroy olive size 30 I uh, paid $9.99 for them at Goodwill and they sold on eBay. I had them listed for $55 and they sold uh, to an offer for $38 plus $7.99 shipping which gave me a profit of $21.65 and they sold after 17 days. So that was an older style for sure and they still sold really quickly and for I got $20 plus in profit. So very happy with that. All right, number eight on the list is something that again I probably have talked about a lot of this channel but it's figs scrubs I love selling fig scrubs not because they sell for a ton of money but because they sell fast and so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about our goodwills combine uniforms and maternity together for some reason I mean they're kind of uh, separated but it's the same rack and so I always 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 go through that rack and I'm almost looking exclusively for figs in the uniform section and the maternity i love selling maternity especially also looking for myself y'all don't know i am currently 31 weeks pregnant as of filming this okay so the first two actually sold in a bundle together a 20 percent off bundle i offer 20 percent off uh bundles in my poshmark closet so i think this person just went ahead and purchased it outright so it was these two items the first was a figs Cairo cargo scrub pant in a size small navy blue i had it listed for 35 and it sold for 28 which gave me profit of 13 dollars and 66 cents and it sold after four days the second piece in the bundle was figs leon two pocket scrub top which was also navy blue in a size small i think i found these together at the thrift store is probably the same person it's basically an entire fit and it was listed for 30 and sold again 20 percent off for 24 and I received a profit of $11.46 from that piece and it sold again after four days. So item number three is a Figs Katarina one pocket scrub top in navy blue size small. I had it listed for 30. It sold for 30% off. It was probably due to a 30% off closet wide sale. And so it only gave me a profit of $9.09 .09, but sold after five days. So I was happy about that. Next was a Figs Kanye Moto scrub pants in black size medium. These I had listed for 45 and they sold thanks to Posher VA for 36, which gave me a profit of $19.31 and they sold after only six days. Next was this Figs Katarina one pocket scrub top in Caribbean blue. This is the color that I don't believe Figs produces anymore. So if you find items by this color, they're actually in higher demand. So I had this piece listed for 48 and then I received an offer for 35, which I accepted, which gave me a profit of $19.29 and it sold after only seven days. So definitely if you're really into Figs and you want to dive deeper into like 
what is selling really well certain colors are going to do better than others but i find that with figs in general that's the case that if they've stopped producing it then there's higher demand for it so it's always nice to look that up in the thrift store but of course really really old pieces are probably not going to do that well however some really really old pieces aren't going to sell for very much and actually this last one is an example of that uh, this was a figs technical collection men's jogger pants this was an old style I had it listed for 28 and I sold it for $20 on Poshmark which gave me a profit of $7.51 and it sold after only 10 days um, after looking it up and realizing it wasn't going to sell for very much I thought about just returning it but I mean if it's going to sell in 10 days and give you $7.50 then why not just sell it so sometimes I will pass on really older fig styles but otherwise I just if I get it, can get it for the right price I always pick up figs okay so next on the list is kind of a new to me exciting brand that's selling quickly and that is marine layer I was kind of not impressed by marine layer when I was checking comps last year and I pass on it a lot but then for whatever reason this year I realized oh it actually does quite well <laughs> and especially men's I find that men's does especially well so I've sold four items by marine layer this year uh, in under 20 days and one of them was new attack but the rest weren't so the first was this marine layers men's garment dye crew neck sweatshirt i listed it for 40 on poshmark and it sold for 30 which gave me a profit of 18 dollars and 50 cents and it sold after only two days which is excellent next was a new attack piece this is one that i got through liquidation it was a women's just striped reversible raglan sleeve top in a size small which i listed for 35 and it sold through an offer to like or sent by Posher VA for 28 which gave me a profit of $17.28 and it sold after only nine days. Next was this Marine Lair Men's Weekend Sport Drawstring Jogger Sweatpants. I had these listed for 50 and I think they sold from a 30% off closet wide sale for 35 which gave me a profit of $20.50 and they sold after only 10 days and just yesterday actually I sold this pair of marine layer Cambridge cord jeans men's in a size 34 I showed this in a thrift with me uh, I thrifted these pants I paid it for them I paid $12.99 for them I had them listed for 65 and received an offer for 50 which I accepted which gave me a profit of $25.29 as long as the buyer accepts and is okay with it because uh, we just shipped it out and sold after only 20 days so very happy with marine layer I'm definitely going to pick it up more and look for it more in the men's section of the thrift store I do have actually a few women's marine layer pieces that I need to do some sweater shaving on and get them listed so it might be the case that it does just as well in the women's section um, if you have a lot of experience with marine layer let me know in the comments down below what you find does really well by them okay next on this list number 10 is miracle suit one pieces and it's funny because I don't have a ton of experience selling miracle suit one pieces and the experience I have is so weird I picked one swimsuit up at the bins in a particular print size 12 and then sold it really quickly for a lot of money I was really happy with it and then I found the exact same swimsuit almost I mean it was the same print same size at Goodwill and picked it up and it sold really well I think I've talked about it on this channel but let me just share with you what it was okay so first it was this miracle suit escape tummy control one piece swimsuit size 12 I had it listed for $60 on Poshmark received an offer for $51 which I accepted and made a profit of $38.42 after only six days and then I found the same swimsuit I think I showed y'all even in the haul miracle suit escape tummy control one piece in a size 12 I had it listed actually on eBay this time for 65 and it sold for 50 plus 4.99 shipping over there which gave me a $33.18 profit and it sold after only 13 days so even though my experience is limited because that's those are the only two I've ever found um, I would definitely definitely be willing to pick up more miracle suit one-piece swimsuits again especially around a size 12 <laughs> probably size 8 to like an up I think would probably do really well so if you do come across 
this particular brand i would say pick it up there are similar brands out there that i think do really well as well such as magic suit that can do really well if you find the right style but i just don't have a lot of experience with it but um yeah basically these one piece swimsuits that do a good job of like you know hiding stomach or hiding making you look like making you feel good essentially um i think they do really well especially if they're one pieces so yeah i am definitely on the lookout for those sell quickly and for good money all right so this is interesting this is a brand that i put on my bread and butter brands that i want to pick up more of this year video which i'll link up on the screen if you haven't watched it so the three times that i have picked it up they've all sold really quickly so I just want to share that with you and that's Athleta and I am particularly picking up black pants and jumpsuits so the first example of that is a pair of pants that I picked up it was in a thrift haul recently they were the Athleta Lux Gramercy Trek trouser pants in a size 6 petite um, I had them listed for 45 and they sold with a 20% off offer that Posture VA sent out for 36, which gave me a gross profit of $20.09, and they sold the same day. So very happy with that sale. Next was a pair of Athleta mid-rise salutation leggings that I picked up at the bins. I think this was like the first Athleta piece I picked up that I was like, I think I'm gonna start picking up Athleta. I don't know why I'd been sleeping on Athleta for so long. And I had them listed for $40, and they sold for full price, $40, on Poshmark which left me with a gross profit of $29.31 after only a week so after only seven days and then the last one actually it didn't sell within 20 days but I still wanted to talk about it um, <laughs> because it did do well um, so it was an Athleta Dipsy jumpsuit I actually picked this up at Crossroads which is a buy sell trade store it's here in Portland it's elsewhere in the country it's kind of like Buffalo Exchange or Plato's Closet I'll take clothes there and then I'll also buy clothes there to sell. So I had this jumpsuit listed for 70 and again sold with the 20% off offer sent by Posture VA for 56, which gave me a profit of $41.76. And it sold after 34 days. So it didn't technically meet the 20 day cutoff, but I still wanted to share it um, because that is so pretty quick and it sold really well. Okay, so we're at number 12, the last one, and this is just a brand. I would put this in the same tier as Patagonia and Lululemon. It just seems to be one of those brands that continues to sell well on the reseller marketplace that just continues to retain its value. A lot of other brands come and go, but these are tend to just stick around and really remain worth picking up, and that is Sorel. So I have two examples of Sorel shoes that I have thrifted this year and have sold within 20 days. Okay, the first is a pair of Sorel Kinetic High Top sneakers that I thrifted. I paid up, I paid $19.99 for them. I had them listed for $90 and they sold for $65. So I profited $30.51, but they sold after only two days. I probably could have got more for them, actually. But they sold after two days, so I was very, very happy with that sale. And then the next was actually a pair of wedges that I got at the Benz, which if y'all watch my videos, you might remember. They're Sorel Joni Booty Wedge in a size 7. And so I listed them for 89 and they sold for $64, which gave me a profit of $47.73. And they sold after only six days. So love that. Excellent. All right. Well, that is the video. Let me know in the comments down below what's selling for you quickly in 2022. There's obviously a ton of brands, a ton of styles that I didn't cover. So it'd be cool if y'all would share your knowledge in the comments. I always read through the comments and learn a lot from y'all as well if you haven't already please give this video a big old thumbs up do subscribe to our youtube channel it means a lot to us because we work really hard over here on it and we put out two videos a week monday and thursday at 2 p.m pacific standard time so be sure to tune in for the next one but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope you learned a little bit of something and so i'll see y'all in the next one okay love y'all Bye.